welcome back to another video today we're on the beautiful lake mayor we're going out on the big boat today if you guys didn't know my passion is like getting out on the big boat getting on some bigger bodies of water that's just what i love to do this is a local little lake um, around savannah georgia and let me tell you if anybody knows anything about lake mayor it's a tough fishery this is one of those places where you'll come out and you'll either zero or you'll hero and catch like 20 pounds so today's going to be a grind to give a little background we had a big cold front blow in. It's 30 degrees this morning. I think we're pushing high 30s right now. These fish are gonna be a little finicky. I was paying attention to the barometric pressure last night and it went from 30.15 all or 30.10 all the way up to 30.25 this morning. So the pressure's rising. Therefore, these bass are gonna be a little more finicky. There's a storm coming in tomorrow morning. So as the day goes on, the pressure is gonna slightly decrease, which means the fish should be biting a little bit better as the day moves on. And um, we're gonna put that to theory today, or we're gonna put it to the test today, see if the fish are gonna be biting good. Um, I got a few baits tied on that we're gonna experiment with. We're gonna go out here, fish some offshore stuff, also push up shallow to see if there's any of these bass roaming. Um, and we're just gonna see if we can put together a huge bag. Got Cody behind the camera today, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have the GoPro up here, have a GoPro chest. Got Cody behind the vlog camera, got some drone shots going to be a good video but if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content let's go ahead and hop into today's video catch us a big bass I had to use the big motor to get her off the bank you're not really supposed to use a big motor out here but i kind of beat her, so i had to use it for two seconds but we're gonna hop on the trolling motor um we're gonna start heading out this is the main lake out here um there's a lot of deeper spots there's a big ditch a bunch of big drop-offs I kind of want to go out there, scan them with my graph, see if there's bait around the area. And that's kind of kind of key me off if we need to be in that location. There's another good pocket on the other side of the lake that we need to try out. Um, there's usually a ton of grass out here, but since it's so cold, a lot of that grass has died off. Um, so we're just going to do a lot of a lot of power fishing today, moving around. If we find fish on the bottom, we're going to slow down, throw a big jig, throw a big worm really try to put the bait in front of the fish's face because like i said i don't know how they're going to react we might try to throw some crank baits some jerk baits and and like i said we're just going to have to experiment i'm the type of person where i don't like to rig up a ton of rods and then get on the water i like going with my gut and going with my instincts throughout the day so uh we're going to hop on this trolling motor start heading out to the main lake i'm going to see if i see any bait um there's a little bit of wind pushing right here and there's sometimes a lot of fish stacked up out here in the middle so let's go ahead and check that out I was just talking to Cody and the wildlife today, the birds, they're out here. There's a bunch of coots. There's a bunch of, I'm not big into the birds. What, what are those white ones called? Do you know? I have no they idea. They like little seagulls, but <laughs> then we got these huge pelicans and I was just telling him, I've seen a few pelicans out here before, but I've never seen as many as I've seen today. There was like probably three over there on that end. You have two on this dock and three on that dock, like huge pelicans. And maybe that's a good sign today. You know, we're seeing wildlife, um, the nature's out. I mean, just the nature today. You can tell every all the birds are out chirping around. So I really want to start off today fishing out deep. We have this huge ditch right here. I've caught a bunch of big bags here in the past. Um, last time I fished here, we caught like a 19 pound bag right here in this ditch. I usually idle over it and I scan it but I'm actually just gonna start making some casts, see if we can fire up a fish or two. We got the main body of water behind us. You come in right here. This is the mouth of a little pocket. What we're doing is we're fishing right down the middle, which is technically called a ditch, right? Each side of the bank drops off and it creates a bowl in the middle. And those bass sit right there in the middle. So our goal, sit here and cast jigs, fish heads, crankbaits, anything to try to get those fish to react, to get those fish to bite. And the trick to these spots is firing up one or two fish. Once you have one or two fired up and there's more fish down there, they'll start biting. But the tricky part is getting them to bite. So let's go ahead and start and uh, start beaming some cast down this ditch. See if we can catch us a big old five pounder. So usually I would start off with a moving bait, but I'm just really feeling the jig bite. We've been killing it on it the last couple of videos. I have this standard, just little skipping jig. Um, it's usually what I want to throw out here, but I already have it on my rod, it's gonna work. This is a green pumpkin one by Strike King. I have a rage crawl on the back, which I only have one little crawl on. So we're going to replace that. And uh, that's what we're gonna start off with. Drag it slow on the bottom. I think it's gonna be good. So these are, the rage crawls. 
you guys know, I've been talking about them a lot recently. This is like my go-to back in the day. It just feels good to be partnered up with this company, man. I, I think hi, very highly of Strike King. You know, they've been in the industry for a very long time. They make, they're a very reputable brand. They make some amazing products. And I'm just very blessed to have this opportunity to partner up with them. But simple little rage crawl on this jig has a little screw lock, which I talked about in one of the recent videos which this saves you so many baits, let me tell you. I'm just gonna screw the soft plastics on and we'll be good to go. Yeah, I thought I had one right away, that scared me. It felt like there was weight, like one already had my jig, that was terrifying. Right now we're actually putting on a little red eye shad. It's a little natural color. It's got purple and black on the top, white on the bottom. It's got a little tiny chartreuse line. It's just a little natural color. I need a bait to start casting around like crazy. And like I'm throwing the fluke, I'm throwing the jig. And those are both slow baits. You know, the fluke you can speed up and cover water with, but I feel like for me to get them to eat that today, I really needed to slow it down. So I, I'm just really trying to figure out where these fish are positioned. For all I know, these fish aren't even in this pocket. So that's why I'm tying this on and I'm just gonna cast, cast and retreat, cast and retreat, cover water and, and learn from that. And if we don't get any bites, now it's gonna tell us, hey, we need to go out towards the main lake, find some fish on one of these drop-offs on one of these ledges way out in the middle. my favorite bait out here though. This and a jig and a frog. Chatterbait too. You know what I noticed? There's a loon right there eating bait. Right there in the middle. It's a good sign. Oh, shoo. look at that boil right there in front of me. There it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. why'd you slap it? Yeah, I think they're on this bank. There's a reason why those loons are feeding. That's the first sign of life I've really seen as far as bait fish and birds in the area chewing on bait. You just slapped it sideways. They didn't want to eat it. Should get bit right here. There he is right there. There he is. Caught him all the way up on that bank. Oh, oh gosh, it's a decent one. I'm trying to stay off this bank because I think there's a school of fish here. Oh gosh, that's a good one. <laughs> Yo, he choked it in the back of his throat. All right, all right, hold up. That's what we're talking about. I'm gonna pull this off this spot. There's there's a lot more fish here. We saw the birds, we saw the loons. I saw a couple flickers of bait fish. In my head, I was like, you know what? We're about to get bit. Got slammed, he didn't eat it all the way. 
Then we just had a good almost three pounder. <laughs> He's in the two pound body. Just choke it. It's all the way in the back of his throat. Look at how that bait's in the back of his throat right there. That, that's exactly how you want him to eat it. And I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting that today. Maybe we tied on the right bait. <laughs> he ate that thing head first. And guys, look how fat that fish is. First fish today, that is a that is what you call a football. That is insane. That that fish is actually in a one and a half pound, two pound body, but he's easy two pounds. Like that is a chunk. He was right there up on the bank. I, I can tell you he was sitting there chewing on bait fish. So what we're gonna do is get this trap, cover this bank really good, stay far off because there could be some fish pushed off and I'll see if we can catch another one, but it feels good to start the day off right, the solid bass. All right, that's what we were talking about, Cody. We, uh, Here we go, man. I think we're about to get on them. I think it's gonna be good. I had two bites instantly. We haven't seen anything all day and then boom. That's a good feeling. Dude, that fish ate it all the way in the back of his throat. I did not expect that. I thought they were just gonna be short striking. It's crazy how like one fish I barely hit it, the next one is just all the way in his throat. See that bait right there? Right to the right of me. Fish are roaming in this pocket. Oh, there's a lot of bait right there. Oh God, that's a big one. I think. Oh yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna get me excited today. Oh, this is gonna get me excited. Ah. Let's go. That's a three pounder. I thought he was four, but it's a three pounder. On the same bank, we're about to have a ball. We about to have a ball. I'm hoping we can catch a good solid limit of these before we even have to move spots. I'm hoping the spot's just gonna be loaded up. I just don't, I can't tell these fish are gonna bite really good or not, but I, I think we just found them and they're reacting to this lipless. You know, I've thrown this fluke a little bit but they, I feel like they want something to react to. They want something to make them mad. And that rattle trap, that, or that red eye shad right there, puts off a lot of vibration. That is a good bass right there. Look at that thing. That's an easy three pounder. Like all these like black little markings along his tail, his fin, that's just pretty. But that is a good one. We're slowly upgrading. Now we gotta find that five pounder. There, give me some. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I thought that fish was over four. I thought he was like really big, but it's a good one. I didn't think they're gonna be roaming the bank today with how high that pressure was. You know, these cloudy conditions, I usually say, you know, those bass start to roam a lot more, but I really didn't think that they were gonna be doing this. I thought they were just gonna be out deep. Maybe they are, maybe uh, there's fish up shallow and out deep today, but there's, there's some fish in this pocket. I'll tell you that. Dude, that's just crazy. Those loons were feeding, just triggered off in my head, and then they bit. Dude, that was just, that was good. Three bites, like boom, boom, boom. The crazy part is that spot will probably replenish. Like, we might come in this pocket and then go back out and hit them again right there. There he is. God, I couldn't get a good hook in him. That was a good fish. That was about a, that was about a three pounder. Yeah, I picked up my jig. I saw all this cover along the bank. I was flipping a little bit, had one pick me up. 
and I casted my, my trap parallel right here with this bank and uh, he just loaded up on it. I hook set and he was running at me. So I had to like run on the back side of the deck to try to get the hooks in him. He ended up spending, he was probably around three pounds, like high two, three, three number. But um, it's just a good sign. It's good to see that we went in this pocket. We started covering water with this lipless. You know, we talked about it. I want to put something on that I can cast, 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 and that they can react to and get mad at. It's exactly what we did. So we just finished up in that pocket. Now what I'm going to do is go back down this bank. I just feel like there's some more fish to be caught. Got a little bit of wind just kind of pushing up in it. You know, we got this left-hand side over here that it's really calm and uh, I like a little ripple. I like a, the wind, this is the thing. The wind is your friend when you're fishing. The wind can help you out in many of ways. You know, there's been days where it's horrible. Like the pressure's so high, the fish are barely biting and you know, I end up smoking them just because of the wind and how the wind's positioned and where it's moving the bait fish and where the fish are sitting. And, like the wind is your friend. There's not much, but there is a little ripple going on this bank and I think it helped out with that bite. Oh God, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bad timing, right? Cody was like, yeah, let's, let's get a couple B-roll. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, yeah, we need this right now. All of a sudden, thump. These fish are on this bank like crazy. The thing is that was only a one pounder, so I'm not worried about that one. When I lose like a five pounder, that's when you're gonna see Noah get a little mad, but one pounder, like, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. What's up, man, how are you doing? Good. What y'all throwing? Lipless crank bait. Yeah, I don't have mine. Really? Yeah, we, we got a few, couple, couple decent ones, um, lost a few fish, but, I'm just glad to be out here, man. It's not raining. Thank you. Thank you for everything watching the channel. That means a lot. Definitely, dude. But uh, I'll let you fish this, dude. I'll, I'll let you. I'll get out of your way. You have a good day, man. You too. Good seeing you. Yeah. Like, if you guys see me in public, like, come up, come talk to me. You know, say something. That's that's like my favorite part about everything. He's fishing the juice. So he's fishing the juice. I'm gonna let him have it. I want to see him catch a big one. If we can get him to catch one on camera, that'd be pretty cool. Bro, he has one. No way. He does. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Hey! Come here! Run! <laughs> I'm gonna make him run now. <laughs> Look at him, he's coming. So we just ran out here. So we ran into this fan on the bank, or a supporter of the channel. I don't like saying fan, he's a supporter of the channel. And uh, he's on his lunch break. He said the biggest fish he's caught out of here is two and a half. And I let him fish this spot. It's a really good one. I was like, dude, I'll, I'll go past you, you know, let you have this. And look at this. He just caught a good one. Look at that, man. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a good one, though. That's sweet, dude. Not quite two. What do you think? He's high one. He's he's thick. He's thick and chunky. Yeah. What are you throwing? Uh, just a black and blue sinker. That's cool. I just muddied it all up. Yeah, just give him a toss. That's cool. That is so cool. That's nice fish. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You <laughs> got it in the video. I told I told him I was like, man, I gotta I gotta get you in on that. I saw you like bent bent on back there, and I was like, I think he has a fish. And all of a sudden, it started jumping. I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah, I, don't, I was just looking at my phone really. Yeah. And, uh, I was like, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to get in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah, I just dropped it. I was like, that's awesome. That's cool, man. That's cool to see. I told him, I was like, I'd rather you catch that than me, man. That was, that was cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I, it, I've been out here like every day in that pocket. Really? Same thing, just slow dragging that thing down. That's great. Well, you got, you got your lunch break fish, didn't you? <laughs> All right, bro. You have a blessed day, man. We had the drone up in the air, ended up hooking one. Now let me tell you, this is the craziest bite ever. 
Look at how it's in the back of his throat. We went around the whole lake and we came back to the first spot that we hit where we had all these bites. Sure enough, the fish are here. And uh, this fish hammered the trap. I go to hook set and I think I had him for a second, but he literally went at like 100 miles an hour towards the boat. And I couldn't catch back up to him until like probably 20, 30 foot closer to the boat, which was crazy. But uh, look at how he ate that thing. That's exactly how you want it. And uh, we're gonna get him unhooked, get him back in the water. But that's a solid two, two pounder right there. Not a bad fish at all, we can't complain. I want you to notice something with this fish. Look at the markings. It's like he has something where he got in a fight, you know. This man's in the MMA over here wrestling and all these bass. But that's a pretty fish right there. We're gonna get her right back in the water. They've seen that lipless crankbait multiple times go past their face, so. Let's see if we put this jerk bait on. Got a little bit of wind, got cloudy conditions. It looks like looks like they could eat it really good. That is the best feeling in the world right there. Oh man. Just put on the jerk bait. We were just talking about it. Pop, 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 pop. Whoop. Not a big one, but hey, that was fun. I think we're gonna end off the day right here. It was an awesome day, I'm gonna be honest with you. We didn't catch a ton of fish. I think we landed maybe four or five. I, I can't remember the exact number. We landed around five fish. We had around seven, eight, you know good bites and i uh, had a bunch of fish come off too or two or three come off but it was an awesome day now let me tell you why we figured them out you know this is probably the toughest day that we could have fished this week um you know this big cold front just came through it was 30 degrees this morning you could tell these fish were a little a little inactive and we still made it happen we found the fish stacked up in this pocket a bunch of bait back here we noticed that the loons were chewing on bait fish you know we were paying attention to nature we we're paying attention to the signs and we made it happen today so that's a win but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content and i'll catch you guys in the next one Mm-hmm.